Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Justine. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I am doing a review on a foundation that I've been loving and it's not new in the drugstore um, and it's not new to me but I did want to talk about it because I haven't mentioned it on my channel yet and I love it for um, oily to oily combination skin which is what kind of skin I have. And now that we are coming into the summer months uh, my skin's going to start to be a lot more oily and it's going to start breaking down a lot more foundations. So I usually have to switch up my foundations with the seasons. I live in New Mexico, which is a desert, and it, the, with the seasons, you know, there's it changes to hot, dry summers. And then in the winter, it's still a dry winter and it gets really cold so my skin and my hands and everything my hair just is very very dry and dehydrated um, but that doesn't mean that throughout the um, end of the day my t-zone still gets oily because I do have more oily complexion so my skin's always kind of all over the place so I wanted to talk about Revlon's Color Stay. Um, this is my absolute favorite full coverage foundation in the drugstore so far that I've found. Um, I use the number 180, which is the um, sand beige color. And I actually find that this is one of the best foundation colors or color matches that I've found lately. I always have to end up mixing my foundations because the colors usually don't match. But I did use the NARS pore and shine control primer today. Um, I have a ton of different favorite primers, but this one's one of my absolute go-tos for oily to combination skin, and I pressed that into my skin, and then I went in with the foundation, and I find that a beauty blender or a beauty sponge works best for this foundation. This foundation blends out seamlessly. It's effortlessly. Uh, it doesn't um, leave any weird texture on my dry areas. And it does just kind of sinks into the skin more skin like and um, now that I'm looking at my skin it just I feel like it performs just as good as a high-end foundation if not better I feel like it's very good quality in the drugstore and I feel like my skin looks really really good and I feel like it stays like this all day so that's the true test um lately it's you know really really hot now in new mexico and santa fe especially we didn't have ac for a couple of days in our salon and people are getting their hair blow dried there's lots of heat going on you know the air circulating and um everybody's just really sweaty and kind of hot but um the re this that kind of prompted me to talk about this foundation because i've been wearing this foundation at work and it didn't break apart, it didn't look really crazy, it didn't look really, really oily or greasy on my skin. When I was checking my makeup, it didn't, like when I touched my face, it wasn't like coming off like how some foundations or most foundations might break apart in those conditions. It stayed true till the end of the day, till I took it off. Um, it looked really flawless throughout the whole day. And um, I'm going to do wear test for you as well today. So it is towards the afternoon. I did put this foundation on at about 12 o'clock today. But I'll um, go ahead and do an 8 hour or more uh, wear test for you guys and check in at the end of the day. Kind of show you how my makeup's looking. So I will check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, it is the end of the night here. It has been about 9 hours that I've had the foundation on and I was just checking out my skin and I don't have any sort of oiliness coming through. I don't have any um, enlarged pores right here where I usually see them um, or sometimes on my brows I'll have like some oil um, like above my brow and this foundation's held up really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a close-up of my face. Usually um, there's at least some sort of oil on my skin, even like on my nose or around my nose here. But the foundation held up pretty well and it was a pretty hot day today. My blush, my contour, my powders, stuff like that is still intact. So my foundation didn't break apart, it didn't 
um, rub off. To share with you guys one of my favorite foundations from the drugstore. Let me know if you tried out this foundation. If you can comment below your thoughts on this foundation. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Thank you guys so much for watching my video today and we will see you in the next one.